Hey, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today I have an exciting video for you because I get to unbox and review a brand new piece of technology. This solar panel from Bouge RV that is in my hand right now is a 200 watt flexible solar panel. Now this is brand new technology. This isn't the flexible monocrystalline panels that have been around for a while. This thing has a lot of features and they have a lot of big claims about the performance and durability of this panel. So I'm excited to show it to you and test it out for ourselves. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's open this thing up. This package is small and it is extremely light. So when you open this up, inside you're gonna find the little owner's manual. This is a 200 watt solar panel. Nothing else in the box. And it comes packaged with just a little bit of foam on here. Now there's a few things that I would be concerned about with the old monocrystalline panels, but from what I'm reading on this, there's a lot of exciting things about the durability that I'm gonna be able to show you. So like I said, this new SIGS panel from Bouge RV is a completely new technology. This isn't a polycrystalline, a monocrystalline, it's not an amorphous panel. The SIGS stands for, and I'll put it on the screen, I'm gonna have to read this, but the SIGS stands for Copper Indium Gallium Selenide. Now this is the type of construction that they're using for the cells on this, and it means that there's no glass. Even with old traditional flexible panels, there is glass in them. They're extremely fragile and they're very easy to break. So this panel is truly one of the most flexible panels that I have ever seen. But they're using this new technology that they're claiming gets better performance. Because there's no glass, it can take impacts better. They are including this panel with self-adhesive tape on this that is rated for an outside permanent installation. And you're gonna be able to install this on places that you couldn't install uh, the older, more flexible panels of the past. So I am definitely gonna be putting this panel to the test because I'm gonna take their word for this. I'm gonna use their self-adhesive like VHB tape, attach this thing to the roof of my truck, and I'm gonna 365, my daily driver, snow, hail, ice, off-roading, tree branches. I'm gonna go 100 miles an hour. I'm gonna check in with you guys and give you guys the full report as to how this panel continues to perform and stack up. But for today, let's look at some of these metrics to see if you're in the market for this right now. So on this piece of plywood is the 200 watt panel. I'm gonna put the exact dimensions up here to see if this will fit on your particular setup. This thing is as thick as a sheet of construction paper. It really is like nothing I've ever seen. They also sell a 100 watt version. I'm gonna put the dimensions of that on the screen right now if you wanna go with half the size. They do make it a little bit more narrow, but the length I think is exactly the same. Now, with this technology, this is a truly 360 degree flexible panel. You can see how they packaged it to send it out here. So this is excellent to contour our roofs for teardrops or other campers, but because of its true flexibility here, I'm going to be able to contour things like a truck cap that you really couldn't get a, a normal panel to stick to. So I'm excited about that. But what I want to do right now is plug this thing into a portable power station that has a pretty accurate meter on there and actually find out how many watts this panel is delivering. This is definitely non-ideal situation here. I'm leveling the panel. It's not tilted to face the sun. The weather is not perfect here today. So let's see what numbers we get off this 200 watt panel. So this panel of course comes with the industry standard MC4 cables, so you can connect it in parallel or in series. I used a little Anderson adapter and plugged it into this Ace Volt because I've been getting really accurate numbers off of this unit, so it helps me uh, gauge out some of these panels. Now I'm getting about 130 watts right now. For those of you who don't have the experience, I wish I could do a side-by-side. -side. It's really difficult to set this stuff up. 
but that is very, very high performance for the conditions we're in. I'm in upstate New York, so on my latitude, even in the summer, I'd be lucky to get 180 watts out of the highest quality glass 200 watt panel pointed towards the sun anytime. So I'm always gonna lose about 10% at the best of conditions. By laying a panel flat like this, I would be lucky to get 140 watts in, like I said, pristine 12 noon sun above head conditions. 130 watts here is excellent. These are the exact same numbers that I would expect out of a glass panel. Now, there are some traditional downsides to flexible panels. Of course, there's upsides as well. So let's talk about how some of those conditions change things. So here's a quick rundown for beginners. More experienced people are gonna know this stuff. But the positioning of your solar panel really matters. Things like how clean it is really matters. When I take some water or microfiber and wipe these panels down, if there's pollen on them, I'll get a 10% boost in performance. Tilting the panel towards the sun so that it squares up with the sun makes a huge, huge difference. When you are looking to chase the sun for high performance, even with off-grid cabins, you will set your angle towards the sun in relation to what day of year it is, as well as your latitude. I'll come on one side of the latitude, like you know, maybe 60 degrees at one time of year, but when the days are shorter and the sun is lower, I change the angles of those panels so that you're always getting the optimal performance. We don't get to do this stuff as much with campers. When you're talking about a flexible panel, they used to be so fragile that I wouldn't even store them. I would make the customer buy the panel themselves and I come over and install it because of how easy it was to break those panels in storage and transportation. This SIGS panel has eliminated that with this unbelievable uh, durable and flexible design. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be squared up to the sun when you've just stuck it to your camper. You're not always gonna be able to tilt your camper to the proper degree. So you're always gonna notice a decrease in performance. I expect to see that with the install of this panel as well. Although a reliable company, Bouge RV, is claiming that this is far more of a sensitive panel. It's higher efficiency than the old flexible panels and they're claiming that they're gonna eliminate some of that decrease in performance. So that's exciting. The other thing that causes flexible panels to underperform is that solar panels actually lose their ability to produce power when they get hotter. That seems counterintuitive, but when you sit a solar panel out in the sun and it becomes too hot to even put your hand on it, the power output goes down. Because flexible panels are attached directly to matter, and there's no air gap underneath them like you might do with Z clamps and a glass panel, they lose performance there as well. So I wanna be forthcoming about all of these things. So with the decrease in performance, even if this SIGS panel does it well, why do people wanna go with a panel like this? It comes down to the practical installations. You can't put a glass panel on a big curved surface of the front of your camper without brackets and a bunch of other crazy nonsense. You make a wind sail when you're driving down the road. Flexible panel makes that easy. The fact that you can just use VHB tape and this really holds up. This has been tested. This is a permanent installation. There's no drilling, no screwing. So a lot of people can just over panel. You can go with a larger panel, like this 200 watt panel, and that's gonna do a lot better than even like a 150 watt glass panel. So there's a lot to include here. I'm super excited to get this thing on the road and check in with you guys at the six month mark, the one, uh, one year mark. But I'm gonna be installing this on my truck. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, out of the package, I'm telling you this thing is dynamite. Getting my hands on it, doing some initial testing and looking how they set up this self-adhesive design, this panel will be able to do what other panels are not able to do. 
I'm excited about technology developing. I hope you guys are too. Let me show you where I'm gonna install this thing and then we'll sign off. So check out where I'm gonna end up installing this panel. I will do a video to show how I'm doing this, but we're gonna bridge between the cab and the cap. This is gonna be able to handle this irregular surface and this curved sweep. You wouldn't be able to do this with those old panels. And when I attach this down, you're not even gonna be able to see that this panel is there. So this is pretty impressive stuff. I am super excited to be able to initially endorse this product with the idea that I did the unboxing with you here today. I'm gonna have to test this out, put this panel through some extremely abusive conditions before I can truly give this thing two thumbs up. But this is affordably priced. If you really have your thumb on the pulse, you know that glass panels are coming down in cost. The foldable, the foldable portable panels are still very, very expensive. Sometimes they're three times the cost. The flexible panels end up in the middle and this still ends up in the middle. This is a very aggressive and comparably priced product for what they're delivering here. I'm not sure uh, where the promo codes are gonna line up. So check out the links in my description, whether you wanna go with the 100 or 200 uh, watt option on this. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video with somebody, and I will see you guys next time.